Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and today I want to talk about Grunt Trader by Weston Oaks. It's a Task Force Omber novel, the follow-up to Grunt Life. Uh, I got to read a digital review copy, so I don't have a physical copy with me to show you. Nothing up my sleeves. Uh, the book actually doesn't come out until July 28th. It's uh, published by Solaris. So if you haven't read the first book, Grunt Life, You've got time to do that before Grunt Trader comes out, and I highly recommend that you pick up that book. I reviewed it previously. I'll have a link for that review in the description below if you want to check that out. Uh, but this review is about Grunt Trader. Uh, so, after the events of the first book, uh, humanity is in a shambles. You know, the aliens came down, and uh, they just messed us up, and... Uh, our main character, our narrator, is Lieutenant Ben Mason. Uh, in the first book, he was just a grunt. He was the hero of the mound at Mount Kilimanjaro. And, you know, he did what he could, but the aliens have really messed us up. And at this point, uh, Mason is uh, a an instructor for new recruits for Task Force Umbra. He's in, uh, I believe it's Fort Irwin, in Death Valley. He's still suffering from PTSD, having nightmares about the Battle of Mount Kilimanjaro, having nightmares about his lover, Michelle, and what happened to her, which I'm not going to go into in case you haven't read the first book yet, but you really need to do it. Um, so that's where we're at. Mason's having, having nightmares. He's an instructor. But uh, good old Mr. Pink the head of Task Force Ombra, calls Mason in and has a special mission for him. Um, as I said, humanity is just scattered. Uh, just little pockets of uh, not even civilization. Just scattered throughout the world. And the aliens at this point seem to be terraforming the planet. Uh, the temperature has been rising. Sea levels have been rising. And coming out of Los Angeles and most likely other places all over the world uh, is this black vine that grows so quickly you could just stand there and watch it and see it moving forward. Uh, so Mr. Pink uh, and the rest of Task Force Ombra want information about this. So Mason is uh, tasked with escorting a scientist out into the, the wilds of Los Angeles to gather some uh, some plant life, maybe some animal life, some flora and fauna, and uh, that's that's the setup for the story. Um, now, I absolutely loved Grunt Life. It's one of my favorite books of last year, and Grunt Trader is just as good, if not better. Uh, Weston Oaks is just a fantastic writer, and. Uh, Ben Mason is a fantastic character. You know, he's a damaged human being. Uh, but his mantra basically is, or uh, words to live by, he, he doesn't like bullets. He just wants to, I, that's the whole point. The reason he joined the military in the first place was that he doesn't like bullies. And uh, even though I'm not a big fan of people in general, I really hate to see people victimized. I'm not a fan of bullies, so... I can really relate to uh, Lieutenant Mason. Just a fantastic character. Mr. Pink uh, is just as, uh, I don't know if sleazy is the right word. Um, conniving, underhanded, just a bastard, I guess, but again, a great character. Um, we have some other characters from the first book, <laughs> the people that managed to survive. We're introduced to a whole bunch of new characters, and... Uh, Throughout all the action that's going on in the book, uh, Weston Oaks is able to develop these characters, which, as always, very important to me. Uh, character can make or break a story. Uh, but this is a very fast-paced story. Uh, just, he, he, it's, it's, it's a post-apocalyptic story, essentially. Uh, the first book was sort of pre-apocalypse and then apocalypse. And now we're post-apocalypse, trying to rebuild humanity, take the planet back from the aliens. Uh, you've got, you know, roving bands 
of uh, rapists and murderers. Uh, you have all these little groups. There are some pockets of just people trying to get by day to day, but then you have these groups with charismatic leaders, charismatic, excuse me, leaders, um, who are sort of creating power bases uh, that they're working from and they're trying to grow. And some may be good, some are definitely bad, uh, and that's all sorts of stuff that, that Mason has to deal with. Um, and, and they're very interesting. You know, each group has its own, uh, its own character. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, just a fantastic story, um, filled with great characters. I don't want to go into too much of the plot, because, I mean, you really just want to read this and go along for the ride. Uh, Mason, as I said, is fantastic character. It, it's the this story runs the emotional gamut. Uh, not only is Mason, uh, we don't actually see him. Well, he does train a few specific people. Uh, that his grunts that are going to be part of his mission, he does train them. We don't see him training the the new recruits the way he was trained. Although I do love. The training method that is mentioned again in here. I, I love the uh, the pop culture references um, Not giving anything away here really but in the first book When Mason was recruited the first part of the training is basically new recruits are locked in a cell and they have to read a bunch of books and watch a bunch of movies and Take a bunch of quizzes and they're not allowed out of the cell until they've passed all the all the quizzes, but they're reading um, uh, history books about war, uh, biographies about warriors, essentially, uh, soldiers. Uh, but they're also reading things like uh, Starship Troopers and uh, watching movies, basically anything that has to do with uh, aliens, alien invasions, fighting aliens. Uh, they, they, they have to read it, watch it, and learn it and I love that not a big part of this story it is mentioned again but uh and there are a few a few titles dropped a few names dropped which I always enjoy <coughs> excuse me so again don't want to get too much into the plot the new characters are really cool um there's uh there is a fledgling government the new United States of New America something like that or the new United States of North America um, but again just pockets of humanity communication is is scarce um, and of course the title is grunt trader so you know somewhere somebody's not on the up and up although you know, dealing with Mr. Pink right off the bat. The guy in charge is kind of, like I said, underhanded and skeevy. So, uh, you never know. You, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, all sorts of interesting new things. Um, creatures. Uh like I said, the, the aliens are terraforming the planet, and it's having an effect on the local flora and fauna. Um, there are uh, people that uh, our characters call fungies because they're kind of eh, zombie-like. Um, maybe more so like the people in 28 Days Later, but they're covered with a fungus. And basically they're just trying to spread the fungus, but they end up killing people too. Uh, so you've got, they've got that to deal with. And there are animals with weird growths that are attacking people. Just all sorts of craziness going on. Stinking aliens messing up our planet. Ugh. Man, I hope Mason can take care of the problem. Um, because they're, the, the aliens are just starting to piss me off. 
<laughs> uh, but this is uh, great post-apocalyptic fiction. Um, oh, and it's you know it's military science fiction, and one of the things I like about uh, Weston's style, uh, uh, and I think I mentioned this in my review of Grunt Life. Um, a lot of the military science fiction I've read can get bogged down in the military stuff. Uh, some of the authors really go into super detail regarding weapons and aircraft and ships and anything. I mean, super, super detail. And I know a lot of people like that. To me, it can bog the story down. One of the problems I have reading Tom Clancy, and I've read some that was I really enjoyed, but some of it I just... I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm working, and uh, I'm trying to read for enjoyment. I don't want to work, at least when I'm reading fiction. Um, so Weston Oaks uh, is a military man, so he knows his stuff, and he does give us information. I mean, he'll mention the, the weapons and the different things, but, but he doesn't bog it down. He doesn't go into so much detail that it just slows the pace of the story. This is a very fast-paced story, and, and I, I definitely wouldn't rate this as highly uh, if it was if it got bogged down with too much of that detail. I think there's just enough to, uh, I mean, it really all sounds authentic, uh, and again, he's a military man, so uh, it, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, so it's 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 nice military science fiction, post-apocalyptic fiction, um, almost horror fiction. It's uh, just a combination of all of that. <laughs> so my rating here. Hopefully this will show up. Um, and as always, what I've used for my rating is connected to the story. And this book was just absolutely fantastic so i am giving it six out of five stinger moths that's like their stinger there stinger beak i get it's a beak stinger thing not like a bee stinger trust me you'll understand when you read the book six out of five that's how good this was just absolutely fantastic easily as good as the first one i wasn't doing ratings back then i would have given that one six out of five as well so as i said this book comes out july 28th i'm recording this on july 16th so you've got plenty of time go pick up grunt life read that and then on the 28th get out there to the bookstores and pick up grunt trader i'm gonna do that um as i said i'll have a link for my review for grunt life in the description below i will have links to purchase Grunt Life uh, in the description below. I'll have a link to pre-order Grunt Trader in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments will be open to spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. If you give anything away and you don't post a spoiler warning, I'm just gonna delete your, com your comment. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, so until next time, read more books.